Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome. Let's take a look at an ideal motorific boat from yeah, 1966, maybe 1967, right around there. Uh, this is it. It's in this uh, amazing packaging, really similar to what we looked at recently with uh, that dinky Mustang. So it comes in this plastic covered case that makes it stackable, so if you have more than one. On the top, isn't that cool? There's like this uh, nautical compass design. See, so if you had more than one of these, you could stack them on top of each other. Isn't this nice? So let's take a look at this. Let's remove the case. So, this is the first time I've uh, seen one of these in person. Now, I saw the advertisements for these a lot inside of uh, DC Comics right at the same time as I'm talking about, like 1966, 1967, 1968. So, Ideal made motorific cars and boats from about 1966 to about 1970. This is the Atlas Harbor Tug. Instead of go through, uh, going through a bunch of back issues to find these advertisements that I was talking about, I went ahead and just looked on the internet and found one that I, that I definitely remembered and I printed it out. So let's take a look at that right now. So maybe you guys remember this. Uh, these were inside of uh, DC Comics. This full page, ad, full page ads in 1966 and 1967. I guess you can pause if you want to read this, but he's basically talking about the boats, about what they can do, and he's um, laying out some plans for developing some form of merchant marine force. He's talking about recruiting like maybe a demolitions expert, maybe uh, a master of disguise. And then also he's looking for a wild card uh, to pilot these, these boats. So these are the boaterific boats. There are six. We have that one in the top row there, the Atlas Harbor Tug. He's cool looking. So each one of these boats, as well as the cars, um, the gimmick with these is that the the motors are separate, and you and you insert the motors yourself, and it kind of gives you a feeling like you're, I don't know, like like you're this guy with the hat, like you're a mechanic or something, like you're working at the boatyard. I'll show it. I'll show you what I mean. I mean, there's not much to it, but it's a really cool concept. So, these open up at the top, like that. See that? There's like a little ridge in there. So, inside is the battery compartment. This is from 1966, and I don't think it's ever really been played with before, you guys. Like, I don't think this has been wet before. I don't think that this has been used in the water like it's supposed to be. I'm just guessing, but I mean, look at how clean this is, and there's no very little, if any, paint loss. So. But the inside of the battery compartment, it, there's nothing, no erosion, no erosion at all. So I put fresh batteries in. This is that little marine motor that, that goes right here. Like that when you're displaying it. And then when you want to feel like you're working at the boat yard, you take this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you just drop it in. 
there's a little bracket here. And I mean, that's it. Okay, watch this. Isn't that cool? Watch the action. Let's see what's happening out here. That's how it turns on and off with the rudder. And then that's how you steer it. Kind of turn it in different directions. And it goes off when it's in that direction as well. So, we got our marine motor in place. Then you just take this guy like that. Make sure it's on there correctly. And you barely, that's it. So that's it, man. We looked at the Atlas Harbor Tug from Ideal Boaterific. This is a new action fleet powered by the famous Motorific Motors. You can ride the high seas and become a part of the Motorific crew and the Boaterific crew. Hope you enjoyed this video looking at this cool boat. I know you're thinking, why didn't you test it and, and like put it in the sink or the bathtub or the swimming pool or uh, take it down to the beach? Because I, <laughs> man, I mean, it's like brand new, isn't it? I don't want to get it in the water yet. I don't know what's up. I mean, oh, that's that self. Look at that's the automatic bailer. It's not completely closed. Isn't that interesting that somehow there's a bailing mechanism that when water floods into the to the the hole right here it it bails it out i'm not sure how that works anyway yeah this is the side that goes first or is this the side that goes first i don't know okay thanks for watching Talk to you guys later. Merry Christmas.